Okay, so today's video I'm going to be talking about respirators. i got a couple different types I'm going to go over. And uh, before I even get into the respirators, I'm going to explain why you should be wearing one. Uh, when you're welding, there's a bunch of different uh, fumes and scenarios where you should have the respirator on. Um, there's a lot of heavy metals. Once you get out of mild steel, you get into the stainless and, and other alloys. There's a lot of stuff in there that once you breathe in, it's never getting out of your body. And it's toxic, cancerous stuff. You, you need the respirator to protect you somewhat from that. It's not 100%. But at least it helps. Um, and I'm going to have an option here that is so comfortable and easy to wear, it'd it be dumb not to. Now, some people will say, oh, I'm just burning 7018. Or have you ever breathed in the stuff coming off 7018? Or had your head in the wrong spot? Chokes you up. Or 6010. 6010 is not as bad because the flux is, uh, it has a lot of paper in it. So it's actually, you know, or pulp. So it's not full as many chemicals, but it's still bad for you. Um, same thing, people go for, oh, smoking weed's healthy. You're still burning something and inhaling burnt smoke. So if you could somehow, you know, eliminate that, look at all the gummies and vapes and stuff that they make now for marijuana. That's how most people are doing it now. So any way to not inhale fumes, that's going to help you. So I have an example here. This rod is called... Uh, some sort of stain. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe someone in the comments will know. RA330 04 15. Let me see if I get a close up of that. But yeah, RA330 04 15. I don't know what that is. I think it's stainless. I don't know, but I should be wearing a respirator, obviously, if I don't know what it is. So. That's why you should be wearing one. And it's not just the welding aspect. When you're grinding, cutting with a torch, cutting with a zip cut, cutting with a plasma cutter, gouging, lancing, whatever, you should be wearing a respirator. It just, it's safety. I know people hate safety. Um, I don't like the way safety's going either. I think it needs to be more of a practical sense of safety than uh, we don't want to get sued safety like we have currently in a lot of plants and areas. Um, but yeah, I would just recommend just wear a respirator, okay? So, I mean, lots of, look at Metal Melt, uh, Metal Melt and Anthony, he, lives, uh, he was living in Florida. There's like no rules there for anything and he still wears a respirator. <laughs> Okay, so first I'll go over like a full face. So this is just a full face respirator. I'm not really gonna get into that. Uh, you wear this in some scenarios where uh, you, whatever you're welding in or whatever, you don't want it on your face or the if you're in uh, something that contains acid dust or whatever, you probably wear one of those. Now the most common one you're gonna see is this style. This is uh, just a, I don't know, it's, you know, your typical 3M respirator. Uh, you can see it's really dirty uh, right there. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, so this, how this thing works is you got these cartridges or uh, the paper filters. I prefer paper filters because they fit under the welding shield really easy. You just put them on, turn clockwise, bam, it's engaged. Now obviously you need two on each side. Um, but, you know, there's a, there's a fatal flaw with respirators. And 3M, I'm not sponsored by them. I only have 2,000 subscribers. I've never had a channel sponsor. I've never even had a company reach out to me. So don't worry, I'm not you know, preaching about 3M because uh, I got paid. It's because I like the products. They came out with this. And uh, one, it's softer material than this mask. But don't be fooled, they make this mask with this material. And you're probably asking me, well, one, what's the difference? You know, these, uh, this does have different filters on it right now. That's besides the point. But there's a very key difference. Okay, so I'm going to put on, put on both respirators and uh, talk about why I use that other one. So we'll do the typical one first. It's very dirty. You know, you're, maybe you could predict why. It's dirty right here and it's dirty right there. You put it, it's got a clip that goes around your neck clicks in and then a halo that goes over your head not over your hard hat like some idiots some guys <laughs> standing around with their <laughs> I'll show you you'll see guys out there sometimes with a respirator like this <laughs> idiots that's, that's not how you wear it 
So it goes over your beanie. I just have a backwards hat on right now. I don't have a welder's beanie on, but it usually goes over your head. Now the problem is communication. When you're talking to each other, you know, and see as I pull this down to talk to you, that's what we have to do to talk to each other when we're wearing respirators. And when you're welding, you wear a respirator. Me, I wear a respirator basically no matter what I'm doing, unless it has a zero dust area. So I wear it basically from the time I go up to the job to the time I come back down to the trailer for a break, I'm wearing it. Even walking to the trailer, I just, it's the other one's so comfortable, I keep it on until I gotta take my hard hat and everything off. So you gotta talk to each other just to, hey, can you hand me that hammer? Or, oh, hey guys, move out of the way, we're hoisting something, whatever. There's tons of scenarios where you need to communicate with each other when you work in crews. And these hinder that. And it makes it, you know, a lot of guys, it's an annoyance, so they just do what I just did. They take the halo off and then they talk. Now the problem is you're getting dust and stuff inside of here. These aren't just for filtering welding fumes. They filter dust and all other types of things too. So when all that stuff is settling in your upside down respirator and then you breathe it right back in when you put the respirator on, it's not really doing its job. Now, it's pulled down, so you're not breathing clean air for that, but there's small periods of time where it's, it's really, well, you could go all day. You know, guys have gone 50 years without wearing respirators. It hurts you in the long term. So, you know, having it down like this to talk and then t put, taking your hard hat off, throwing it back on, it, it's a pain in the ass. So this is what a lot of people also do. You pull it down like that and talk, and that's why it's all dirty is because my gloves constantly from touching it, pulling it down, saying something, putting it back up. But that's uncomfortable and it's dirty and it's it's not, it's a pain in the ass. So what do a lot of guys do? I'll tolerate it, I'll wear it, and I'll pull it up and down all the time, but it's not ideal scenario. So what do a lot of guys do? This. They take it off and they don't wear it. So now, not only is that piece of PP uh, not doing its job, it's not even being used. And you know, that respirator is like 30 bucks. You know, not even, well with filters like 50 Canadian. So they're not even using it anymore. So 3M came out with a new uh, innovation that's very simple and it makes your job easier. So this is the 3M Quick Lock. Um, it's made of this gel, we call it a gel mask. That's what some guys call it. I don't know if that has any truth to it. But it fits easier to your face. Take the halo. Oh. Throw the halo over. As you can see, it's just hanging here. It's not pressed against my chin like this. It's just hanging, and that's because of this clip. It's called the quick lock. So you pull this down. You're breathing through the filters. You flip it up, it hangs at your neck. I find this extremely comfortable. I don't mind having it hang there at all. And this makes it so I don't have to pull out my heart hat or welding shield off. And I don't have to pull it up and down with my glove. I just and get it all dirty and have it pressing against my neck. I just have to simply do, you know, one hand quick flip with a finger. Super good system. And so guys that have this type of mask, I find actually wear them a lot more than guys that wear the other kind of mask. Now, not all companies are gonna buy you this because I believe it's five to $10 more Canadian on average per respirator. Um, but if you're supplying your own uh, PPE, which none of uh, every job I'm on the PPE is supplied, but I bring my own respirator because I don't wanna use those junk ones because I wanna wear it all the time. And it's not just walk, it's not just when I'm welding, I said there's dust, there's other work groups spraying chemicals or cleaning with chemicals. I could be in a plant where there's, you know, faulty ducting systems and there's exhaust coming out. There's all, there's all different areas that I need a respirator, not just when I'm welding. So that's why I like to wear this one because I wear it the entire shift and anytime I need it, I just pull on this and it's, it's right there and I'm breathing better. So it ends up making me use this all the time and I even use it at home. You know, not too many pieces of, you know, there's not too much PPE out there that I've been introduced to at work that I actually use at home because it's not a pain in the ass. I, I find this thing, you know, it doesn't make my job harder. So I highly recommend you buy one of these. I mean, I, I got mine on Amazon with the filters and the respirator. I think it was under $60.
Canadian, so that's, you know, to breathe better, that's a good deal. Um, now, the other thing I've seen is people will have it hanging down like so, and they'll, they'll put a rag, some guys will put a rag or something in there and paper towel, and then they'll take it out, put it in their pocket, and put it back in to prevent that dust from building up. That, how dirty is that rag? It's, you're just, it's pointless. So yeah, picking one of these up is a great option. I would highly recommend it. And it's just gonna help you breathe better and work safer without making a compromise. That's my thing. All this safety stuff they come out with makes your job harder. It makes your job take longer. And it, it makes you frustrated. And you know, there's that's the perfect combination to get physically hurt. If you're frustrated and what you're doing is taking longer than it should, that's when you're gonna get hurt. You know, not from not wearing the PPE or whatever. It, you know, when you're relaxed, you take your time. When you're frustrated and your PPE's in the way and it's annoying you, it's making your job more difficult, you're probably not gonna wear it or you're gonna get all frustrated and mess something up or hurt yourself. So this is the dire direction I believe PPE needs to go into. Some safety guys don't like these. They're like, oh, well, you know, now you're, you know, the other mask is difficult to take on and off, so some people just won't. They'll just leave it on all the time. That's not true. A lot of guys take them off and throw them away. Um, this is, you're gonna wear it more, I guarantee it. And uh, that's the direction safety needs to go. You need to come out with these regulations and ideas of how to work safer, but need to make them not, a, you need to make them easy to work with and not a big ordeal. It needs to, you know, make our lives no more difficult. Because as soon as you make someone's life more difficult with something, they're not going to see the reason to do it. And they're not going to. So you got to work, you know, a happy medium between logical and easy to use and being safe. Or else you're never going to get anywhere.